In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can find the least common multiple when the numbers are too large to do with mental math. There's two ways to do this. One method that we're doing here is called the stack method. To find the least common multiple by the stack method, it, we will divide common factors out of both numbers. Once we've done that, we'll end up with this stacked up list of numbers, and the least common multiple will always be found by multiplying one of the top numbers, top numbers, sorry, T-O-P, by the bottom number that is diagonal. We'll multiply diagonally to find our least common multiple. It's important to remember, though, that this method does have one limitation to it, and that is it only works if we have two numbers. This method does not work if we have three, four, five numbers. Only works with two numbers. Let's take a look at an example that we use this stack method. We're going to find the least common multiple of 24 and 36. You could see it would be very difficult to do mental math with these numbers and figure out if we could multiply and divide to what things. So we're going to use the stack method, and we're going to divide a common factor out of both of them. You'll notice they're both even, so they're both divisible by 2. 2 goes into 24 12 times, and 2 goes into 36 18 times. Well, those are both even, so those are both divisible by 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times, 2 goes into 18 9 times. Both of these numbers, we see, have a common factor of 3. We can divide them both by 3. 3 goes into 6 twice, and 3 goes into 9 3 times. At this point, though, you'll also notice that there's nothing that I can divide into both 2 and 3, other than 1, which is pretty boring to divide by. What we can do now is find the least common multiple by taking the top number here of 24 and multiplying it by the number that's diagonal, 3. 24 times 3 will be the least common multiple. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 more is 7. 72 is our least common multiple. A common question then becomes, what about the other diagonal? What about multiplying 36 by the bottom number that's diagonal from it, too? Well, let's look at that. 36 times 2, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 more is 7, and you notice using the other diagonal, you get the exact same answer. So it doesn't matter which diagonal you use, you'll find that least common multiple with the diagonal product. Let's try another example. We're going to do 108 and 225. Nice big numbers. If we add the digits, we see the first number, 1 plus 8 is 9, 2 plus 2 plus 5 is 9. Also, they both add to a number that's divisible by 9. That's the divisibility test for 9. So we can divide by 9. 9 goes into 10 once, and 18 twice. 9 goes into 22 2 times, and 45... 9... nope, 5 times. And then you'll see there's nothing that goes into both 12 and 25, and so we're at our dead end. Our solution, then, is the diagonal product. We can multiply 108 times 25, or we could have done 225 times 12. 5 times 8 is 40, 4 and 5, 0 to hold the place value, 16, 1 and 2. Again, you should know how to multiply, so I'm moving quickly through the multiplication and addition, but I end up with 2,700. So we can find the least common multiple of two numbers by dividing out what we can out of both numbers, and once we've divided out what we can out of both numbers, we find our solution by simply dividing or multiplying the product diagonally.